What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. Well, I wanted to talk about why I think so many, so, so many of the older alpha, beta, and even untamed cards are going to get absolutely wiped off the market. Now, maybe not the, maybe not the, you know, ones that are super clutch for the meta, but I think anything that is just like mediocre to okay, or even just like slightly good has a chance of being removed. And here's why, because when it comes to PP, I didn't care about PP before, but obviously getting the keep made me much more interested because I actually have a land now that I want to maximize. So I'm not even going to look at castles. I just want to look at keeps for a second because I was doing the math for myself. Now, it's, it's a little complicated here, but essentially what you need to know is that in order to receive the maximum amount of the taxes that you can get from, uh, you know, from your, your tract or for castles for the entire region, you have to have a certain amount of PP. And the thing is, well, we'll look at, ca we'll look at keeps, for example, right? You max out by getting 50% total, but it's, it's a, I believe a logarithmic scale that you can see essentially has diminishing returns over time, depending on the amount of production points you have. So when you're starting off, you get barely anything, right? But obviously, as you go further along, it's a little bit more exponential at first and then and then uh, diminishes. I don't know if exponential is the right word, but it diminishes, you know, you have diminishing returns probably once you get around like the 35% range, right? 35 to 40% range. So when I'm looking at this, it's just like, okay, well, if I want to maximize the amount of of, uh, you know, that I'll be able to earn through this, right? So get as close to 50% as possible. I'm looking at this and saying like, okay, well, even a million production points is only going to get, you know, that won't even get me 15%, uh, uh, 50%, I'm sorry. So I was like, okay, well, what's what's a more attainable benchmark? Let's go to the first one here. 250,000 uh, production points would get me a little bit over 40%, right? Maybe wherever this, this line intersects is probably going to be closer to like 200,000. Okay. So in that way, I would be getting 80% of the total amount that I'm, I'm eligible for, right? As, as a keep owner, I would be able to get 50% of the taxes, but instead uh, I'll drop down to 40%, which, you know, uh, on, on a regular scale would be, I, I'm only getting 80% of what is able to be given to me. Sorry. I know there's a lot of percentages there, but I want to go over to Peak Monsters right now because Peak Monsters has this awesome land calculator and I want to show you something. So I have a forest right? Uh, there's no condition. It's not magical or occupied and there's no boost, right? I don't believe, uh, I don't believe keeps or castles get that additional production boost because they're just collecting the taxes. Now I have a title, the gambler title, right? Which gives, I believe a 25% boost. I also have a Rooney, which gives a hundred percent boost plus an additional one, 1 1.5 uh, K production points. Now, if I go down here and I choose chaos because that's, you know, that's the only thing I can really attain right now in terms of maxing out. If I go with legendary gold foils maxed out in a splinter that is productive for, you know, my, my thing, which would be a forest, you can see here that I max out at 127,000 PP. And I was just going through the market. I mean, the lowest amount that I'd, I'd be able to pay if I, if I went and tried to get, you know, a bunch of gold foil legendaries max, it's probably going to be like $1,300 to $1,500. Okay, so I would have to spend that additional amount to then only get 127,000 production points, which when you when you look at it, right, we don't we don't have the perfect numbers here, but 127,000 production points is roughly halfway between, um, you know, uh, here and this line and this line. So I'd probably only get 35, maybe 35 percent of the total 50 percent that I'm eligible to uh, to accumulate. And then, you know, from an absolute standpoint, about 70 percent of the rewards if I go with all maxed out stuff. Now, sure. Could I spend a little bit more? Will I spend a little bit more uh, for uh, let's see here? What other things can we add in uh, totems? I mean, even if you, even if I was to get a legendary totem, which there are none available for sale, right? But if I was to get a, another legendary totem, that would only get me up to 100 and uh, 183,000. So I'm not even getting close to that 200K. But imagine how much I'd have to spend in order to max that out. So why am I sharing my example with you? Well, there's a reason. It's because 
ultimately, when you think about this from not just the keep, but also the castle perspective, and, and there are only 150 castles, but uh, 150 castles that would wipe up, uh, what is that, about 750 cards off of the market. It, it's still like, look at the production points here. It's, you know, th this scale is different, right? This goes up to 2 million uh, production points. And so you'd really be going after a lot of those alpha gold foil legendaries, those beta gold foil legendaries. Again, in order to get roughly, what is this, 15%, so about 75% total, this is gonna this is gonna be 250,000, you know, production points. So to me, this has the potential to wipe out a ton of those uh, alpha, beta, gold foil, legendaries, epics, whatever the case is, right? And and this is just for the castles and the keeps. There's 150 castles, 1350 keeps, right? So a total of like 1500 um, of the of these types of structures that are designed in this way to maximize, you know, where where your production points. Obviously, production points matter no matter what plot they're on. But I'm just talking about like when I think about the when I think about the OG players that have been around since alpha or beta and have these cards and also have regions or or tracks like that they want to fill up with cards. I look at this and I'm just like, there's, it's a no-brainer. They have to. They have to in order to get the, the maximum amount from their castles and their keeps. So, you know, again, we'll, we'll see how that number plays out. Obviously, with 1,500 castles and keeps, that's only, what, 7,500 cards. But, but keep in mind, let's, let's, let's go over to the market now and uh, we shall see here. Uh, ooh, do I have to check in for a tournament? Oh, we'll do that in a second. So when we go to like alpha beta cards... And let's go to gold foil, like legendaries. I mean, we're talking about 7,500 cards and there's not much out there in terms of gold foil legendaries. I mean, look at this in circulation, 29, 25, 19, 95. So th this is what I'm trying to get at here. I, we can't fully quantify it, but I do think it's going to be a major, it's going to be a major drain for both of these sets, maybe even dipping into untamed a little bit, uh, which is why, you know, if you've, if you've been in map chat, you've probably seen weird beard talking about them relooking at both tournaments and brawls for alpha, right? Uh, alpha tournaments and brawls or alpha and beta tournaments and brawls, for example, because a lot of those cards are going to be impacted by land. And if there's no cards available to play, it could be interesting. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what the right answer or the wrong answer is, but to me, I just this was just an interesting kind of like thing while I was looking for my own stuff, and I wanted to share it with you. But uh, look at this, even untamed. I mean, we're not we're not near anywhere near seven hundred and uh, seventy five hundred cards that would be allocated just for castles and keeps, right? And you're looking at you're looking at some of these. Look, these are all level two here. So and there's there's not many available for sale, so people won't even have maxed copies of them. This is going to get really interesting. I am super, super pumped for land phase 1.5. I hope it comes sooner rather than later. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.